Those two that you're starting to hear again, John McGill with a screencast. And we got cut off a little bit at the end there, and that's good because I actually want to make another change. So we want to, to get here, we're file, uh, export media, we got in here, export settings, change the format to be FLV F4V, those are flash video formats. And the preset is going to be a pretty high quality one automatically. We don't want that necessarily because, I mean, for a final product that would be great, you know, or a portfolio or put on a personal website, but for just submitting this week's assignment to this class, let's try this. An F4V web media. Or can be a widescreen view because that one. I did it, so let's go F4V, it's a flash video format, web media. I'll click on that. And if I go down here, I'll notice under the video tab, I can see the setting. You can see it's only uh, 360 by 264 pixels. That's great. Not everything else is rolling right there. And then I'll hit export. And it takes some time to export, hopefully not too long, it's only four seconds. And I'm going to go look to see if we're on my desktop. So here it is. And now uh, to play this, the best way I'm going to right click on this, uh, open with. And I can choose the Adobe Media Player um, or the Flash Player. If it doesn't work, and if you don't have the Adobe Media Player, it's a free download. Then go back to the export thing and export it as FLV Web Medium as opposed to F4V Web Medium. But I'm going to open this up in Adobe Media Player just so I can see what it looks like. Here it is, and that's all I want to see. My name. Say it again. My name's going to fly in, it holds for a second, and then it flies up. And that's it. That's all you're submitting. Now, what's important, I'm going to minimize this again, is see how big this file is. I'm going to right click on this and go to properties. The file is only 127 kilobytes. That's great. Again, this won't be good for your final product or anything like that. You won't be able to use this export more than likely in your final product unless you're doing it in the lab or your flash animation. But it's good to submit. Okay, when you're going to go back and work on this, you know how to add your video, your graphics. Oh, I didn't add a graphic. I apologize. So let's hit OK on this. Let's go back to Premiere Pro. If I want to add a graphic, I'll go to File, Import. And I'll look for a graphic anywhere on the desktop. So I'm going to see if I have a graphic I can use real quickly here. Um, here's a Ren and Stimpy image. Nobody likes Ren and Stimpy. You can see it's down here. It is uh, a JPEG like that. You just bring this down here. Now, like this, it covers everything up. So, what I do is take the text, put that up here. These work very similar to layers in Adobe Photoshop. So, now my text should be here. It's above this. And I can just click on this uh, here. And I do that. So, now it's like this. So, you can see. It'll come in like that. Okay, my text is going to animate over the image. Now, all the same things that I did, you know, under the motion, the motion here, position, to animate the name. If you want to use that to animate the imagery, same thing. You know, set up the position, click the stopwatch, and then set up your keyframes that way. Uh, this is really small, so if I wanted to change the size of this, I'll go down maybe 25 percent here. Still. Too far zoomed in. Now I can see, now I can zoom this in if I want more of this image to be viewed in my video. Back to fit. And there we go. So now all animation uses my name flies in. It's going to fly out. And then I would just re export this, okay, as the FLV or F4V format. And you're going to submit to me not your Premiere profile. I don't want that. Just submit to me the FLV or F4V file that you export. Okay, um, which you're gonna so it should be super long more than likely. I would say, goodness, five, six, ten seconds of the absolute longest this should be. It should be a short thing. It's just your name animated. Unless your name animated in your video is going to be a large portion of it. Um, if you're going to be using Photos Flares, you don't need to be watching this. We have separate videos on how to animate text. In Flash. There's a number of different things you can do besides this. Okay, this is just a real simple thing. So certainly expand upon this. You can animate individual letters, maybe separate times for each letter, things like that. That's all I got. Ask me questions. Goodbye.